Hi guys and welcome back to Paint with Mark. My name's Mark Terrell and today I thought I'd teach you how to paint a really simple fisherman in a little lake with a little bit of foliage and greenery. It's really easy to do so I hope you follow along with me today. So firstly I've got a 20 by 16 pre-stretched canvas. Um, it's triple primed and it's ready to go. So the first thing what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to actually draw on a little template of a fisherman. Now if I get enough likes and subscribes to this, I will add a link to the, the little fisherman that I'm going to do so you can all follow along. So let me get my little template out and let's follow along. So I've got my little stencil, my little template, and I'm going to put a little fisherman there, which is about four inches up from the bottom and two or three inches in from the side, something like that. I'm going to place the fisherman there. And all I'm going to do is use a permanent marker, like a black permanent marker pen, and I'm just going to draw around the outside. So I'm just going to draw around the edge of this very carefully. Obviously, when you're up at home or doing this, you've got a bit more time, but this is just for the, the video demonstration. Uh, obviously, you can make yours a lot neater than mine. But this is just going to give us a rough edge of his legs. I'm just going to draw his legs down to there because I'm going to cover it up with some foliage. But this is just going to help us uh, a basic shape. We'll see as it progresses. Like so. And then his arm comes around there. And what I'll do, I'll just freehand the rest in so basically I'm just going to look at my little picture and then I'm just going to copy this across so basically his legs come up through here down there and across and he's got a little belt on which comes up here there's a little belt there's a little bag again a lot of this is going to be covered over so you don't need to panic too much I'm just getting general shape and idea um, across here. So he's got a little t-shirt that comes down and round. And he's got a little, little buckles that come across like this. And he's got like a sort of smock that comes up here. And this is his arm, comes across here there got the arm that comes out to there this is the back of the arm which is there and then he's holding his arm comes down it's a round shape like that and the reel and then I've got, we've got a rod that comes around something like that and it's got little eyes this sort of thing so I hope that makes sense so basically I've just drawn very roughly on here just a basic shape of the fisherman to give us an idea of placement we're going to place because we're going to have ground here we're going to put in some sky and we're going to have water around here so it just gives you an idea of placement where to put it so it's not in the middle it's off to the side which is going to add characters and features to this so next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply liquid white over the whole surface which is going to make it slippery and wet now the reason i've used this black permanent marker is that when we apply the liquid white you're only going to see a very faint outline of this through it so it's great because we've got a nice little guide but it's not going to stand out too much okay so let's apply the liquid white okay guys let's apply the liquid white so i've got my pot of barbos liquid white or you can use magic white and we're just going to apply just a, a small amount, nice even coating on the canvas just to make it nice and slippery. So I'm going to use a, just a one inch brush, dip in just a little tiny bit and I'm just going to think about where we're going to have the, we're going to have the sky here. So I'm thinking about how much to place because some areas we don't want to place too much, we just want to stain the canvas. But I'm just going to dab a few spots here and there just to take the excess of the brush and I'm literally going to do crisscross strokes just very quick just little crisscross strokes 
some people want to do circles, if you want to do circles, you can do circles, it doesn't matter. All I'm trying to do is force in the liquid white into the canvas itself. So I'm just going to go around with a little uh, fisherman, you could kind of fish a lady, fish a person, fish a man, whatever you like to call it. If you want to put a, a lady in there, you can put a lady in it. If you want to put a man, you can put a man, whatever you like to put in there. Just literally just coming the surface with liquid white turn around and then I'm gonna actually force and just gonna scrub this liquid white into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over my man now a little bit. As you can see it's still there, hopefully you can see that on the video, but it's dulling down, which is great. I'm going to go left and right, from one side to the other, and then up and down. I want to make sure that it's fully covered. There we are. Okay. Now, when I've applied the liquid white, what I tend to do is because you, you, you don't want to put too much on. Uh, you just want a very thin, even coating, um, just to make it slippery. So you, you don't want to put too much on. And a lot of students of mine that when I teach classes, uh, they put too much on, and then what happens is when you put the colour on top, it becomes very thick and muddy, and it all becomes a bit of a mess. And of course, if you don't put enough on, you can't get that lovely slick surface. So I'll get a little bit of kitchen paper. And I'll very lightly just rub over the surface and you'll see it takes some of that excess away. So it's now ready to start painting. Um, this, this, if you want to stop for a while, this is going to stay slick like this and ready to paint. You can go and have a cup of tea and come back and it's still going to be fine for a few hours. But what we're going to do now is we're, I'm going to go over the colours we're going to use and the brushes we're going to use. Okay guys, let's go over the colours we're going to be using today. So I've got titanium white, Phthalo blue, black, sap green, dark sienna, cadmium yellow, uh, this is yellow ochre, and then we've got some red, some uh, alizarin crimson, or some red you can use, it doesn't matter. And the brushes that I'm going to be using are a one inch brush, a two inch landscape brush, a rigger or liner brush, a half inch flat brush or a, a filbert brush, a number three I think this is or it could be number six it doesn't matter but a fan brush, uh, a painter's knife and then I've got just a little mixer just to mix a little bit of paint. So, so guys so let's get started and uh, I hope you've got all your tools together with us and you're going to really enjoy this one so let's have some fun. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my one inch brush. We just want to make a little bit of a, a sky up here so I think we actually we mix it a little bit lighter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of blue, a little bit of black and I'm going to add some white to that white to there and I'm just going to mix this around scrape it up push it down scrape it up I hope you can see that on the video flatten it down just a just a dull sort of sort of grey bluey colour I might add a bit of white into that mix it around push it down Okay, that will do. Some tissue. Also, I'm going to use uh, a little bit of tissue, and you already see I've got a bit of liquid white as well. And with this tissue, I just usually tear it off into squares so we can use it. And I'm always getting paint on my hands, on my face. If you've seen some of my other videos, 
I end up getting it everywhere, but it's all part of the fun. So, I'm going to use the one inch brush and we're going to go into that same colour and I'm just going to pull the brush down on one side, hopefully you can see that, and turn it over. Now it's still got liquid white on here, I haven't cleaned the brush, so I'm just loading it one side and the other side and I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to do a crisscross stroke in the corner there and I'm going to do a crisscross stroke over there. And I'm just literally going to leave little gaps, going to do little tiny crisscross strokes. Then I'm going to come underneath, crisscross strokes, come down, to just above his head where we where we put it on there. So it's probably about that's about probably near enough the whole length of the one inch brush, I'm just going to come down there. I haven't loaded the brush more than once, I've just done it once and I've just come all the way down. Now while I've got this on the brush, I'm actually going to brush right across here, okay? So I'm actually going to take this down just a little bit more, just so it goes to his, to his head. And then I'm actually going to load up the brush, pull it one way and the other way. And I'm going to hold the brush sideways and I'm literally just going to pull this all the way along here so I'm going to come along okay from the side pull it from the side pull it across it's gone over my little figure but it doesn't matter across here down to about where his feet are at the bottom there and then that's on one or that's on that side of the brush then the other side of the brush I'm just going to come from this side Pull it across, like so. Just let it run down. Okay, so just got these lines going across. Okay, so I left a little gap there between the sky and the water, and this is going to be the water. Okay, I'm going to put my brush down. Then I'm going to come up to uh, my two inch brush, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from down here and work upwards. I'm going to do crisscross strokes again. So very light pressure. Just coming across, light pressure. Working across from right to left. Go with my little fisherman, it doesn't matter. Coming up. Light pressure. Working upwards. All I'm doing is crisscross strokes. Okay. So basically, that's all I need to do for the moment. Okay. Then I'm going to come down to the water here, and I'm going to hold the brush sideways on. Okay. So I'm just first before I do that, I might just tap it into a bit of tissue, just to get rid of the excess paint. Now I hold it sideways, and I'm going to brush across, like so. Straight lines. It's important that you do straight lines. And go backwards and forwards. I'm pushing quite hard now. Nice straight lines. I'll take that right up into the sky, which is literally holding the brush and I'm just brushing across. Right like side. So. Alright. Then I can come back up to my sky and holding it sideways on, literally very lightly. I'm just going to come across the whole lot all the way down. All the way down here. It doesn't really matter down there, alright? I'm just switching.